All right, so what we have here is another three zone system uh, ready to go. This one's completed. Customer is going to be picking it up tomorrow. Um, this is a Navian Combi boiler with three zones for baseboard heating. I uh, went with 007E circulators. So these are really great for baseboard systems. Uh, it's typically a good size for um, the amount of head loss you'll find in, in most uh, baseboard systems. Obviously, every system needs to be calculated and, and sh sort of determine what size uh, piping needs to be used, what size circulators. Um, I have a few videos where I get into a little bit of that. Um, so when you get a system from me, what you basically are, uh, most typical system is going to um, have a boiler. It's going to have all the components necessary. If it's a combi, it's going to have all your service valves for the domestic hot water. Um, the boiler portion as well, the heating system portion, will also have service valves on it so that you could service all these and uh, descale everything every, annually when the time comes for maintenance. Um, I, I always provide all the necessary shutoffs to be able to replace the circulator easily in the future so that you don't have to drain or refill the entire system and bleed it out. You can just shut these off, pop the new pump in, and turn them back on. Um, if it's a baseboard system, I always provide these shutoff valves with, with drain fittings on them as well. So that way you could bleed each individual uh, loop or baseboard uh, loop without having to worry about getting air into the other uh, zone. So one at a time. So same thing. If you ever had to replace anything, you could just hook up a hose to this, uh, shut the other ones off, bleed just this one alone, and you're good to go. Um, obviously, every system has a air air elimination air separator. Um, the boiler itself does come with a here's it right here a bleeding valve up top so usually when you're filling it you'll take this one off completely um, but all the rest of the air that's in the system will be taken care of by the uh, air separator right now when I have these uh, picked up these usually fit this one's about four feet tall by about five feet wide a little less than five feet and what I do is I actually leave the expansion tank off of them if they're going to be shipped like this or picked up in a truck and then I just provide the fitting for the expansion tank right here that you just have to screw on and then just screw the expansion tank in here. So what I also provide is a valve to be able to service the expansion tank whether you need to replace it. You'd be able to shut this off, drain, drain any uh, pressure out of it and then uh, replace the expansion tank, put a new one on, and uh, refill it by opening this. And that way, again, you don't have to refill or bleed the entire system. Big mistake you see in a lot of systems are things like that. You know, for the 20 bucks it costs for the valve, or 25 bucks, I mean, it, it's worth it. If you ever have to replace it and you have no way to shut it off, you're, you're draining your entire system to change something as simple as an expansion tank. So, you know, just think ahead when you're doing your own system. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This one's ready to go. It's going to get picked up. I, I also include the outdoor sensor that comes with the unit. Um, so I give that and I explain. I also provide a detailed filling and startup guide as well. Um, some people, you know, if, if this is your first time purchasing and installing one of these, I mean, we walk it right through the entire process of filling it, starting it up, going through all the settings on there. Uh, it's not overcomplicated. We sort of take the complication out of it by doing the design for you, uh, choosing all the components, everything necessary, putting them in the right spots. There's there's certain uh, piping configurations and certain specs you need to take into account, uh, minimum distances before elbows and uh, things like that that you may not know your first go around. And you could obviously search a lot on the internet, watch videos like this. Um, but it just comes with experience of knowing uh, what to do, what you can't do, what you could get away with. So um, if you have any questions or if you'd like me to design a system for you or build one for you, we do uh, a lot of consulting work where we'll, we'll provide piping diagrams, do all the calculations for you. Um, we'll go over everything it takes to get a whole system together uh, if you'd like to do one completely yourself. Uh, but if you do want to purchase one from us, just let us know. Uh, just email me. I'll put my info below in the description. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and follow us because we have tons of videos and go check out our other videos. Um, we have lots of them explaining more about boiler systems, some of the electrical wiring, uh, a lot of cool videos out there. So yeah, please subscribe if you haven't yet and we'll see you guys on the next one.